and the operation here. We are well known for furniture and Clive, uh, who <coughs> owns the company, has over the years developed into a variety of different things. Just for your background, we do furniture, we do architectural panelling, we do cutlery, we do crockery, and we do perfume. The Clive Christian name is essentially another way of saying it's British and it's the best. And that's what we're about. In 1872, Queen Victoria uh, awarded the uh, shape of her crown to a perfume company so that <coughs> they could use that because they were producing at that time the best perfume in the empire. Uh, that was principally due to the quality of the ingredients that they were using. Clive was clearly not around in 1872, uh, because he's only about the same age as me, we're both sort of early 20s. Um, Clive's connection with the perfumery started about 25 years ago when in their family home, he and his daughter Victoria were <coughs> uh, doing some work about the house, and under a floorboard, they came across an original bottle of the 1800s perfume. And Victoria has always had a great interest in perfume. And as a result, uh, there was an interest spawned from there which grew. Her passion then grew to an extent that Clive decided in 1999 that he would revive the, this perfume company. And from there, he developed the six unique uh, perfumes, three for men, three for women. Uh, the green bottle on, on here is called 1872. It's the year the perfume company uh, was founded. And the perfume in that is to an original formula. And uh, it's known as 1872. He is not a man noted for uh, doing things by half. He set aside all budgetary considerations, financial considerations that perfumers are accustomed to, and said, just give me the best. And that is where number one comes from. It came from there being absolutely no budget, just a desire to be the best, or to have the best. Uh, and that is now, uh, as of a few months ago, it's been acknowledged by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive perfume in the world. So it's, it's a bit of a cachet in that. What uh, to make or to buy? <laughs> <laughs> I guess both. Yeah. It, it would presumably be both. Um, <clears throat> the last thing Clive then did was to create X, which is the black bottle in the middle. Now, we're going to focus principally on X tonight, and that becomes clear with the Valentine's Day connection and uh, the X is made from unusual and exotic perfumes and in, contained in it are some of the most powerful aphrodisiacs that you can get. So uh, I'm slightly <laughs> concerned about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to let you have just a little sniff of this, you know. Would uh, uh, you like a volunteer? No. Um, well, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> you absolutely can. Is that good, Megan? Yeah. It's not embarrassing at all, don't worry. But you have to try it on your skin, surely, because it all Well, yes, we'll do that just shortly. Okay. Fear not. <laughs> but this just gives it's difficult to give everybody a go of it all at the same time, you see. So this does the job, you see. <laughs> and uh, I, if you close your eyes, actually, uh, you're, I should have asked you to close your eyes first. Because if you then do that, you get your senses are then more open, so... <laughs> That's because all of, the, all of the ingredients are natural. And it's good for also, this goes for all of the perfumes, the ingredients are all natural, there are no synthetics in it at all, no chemicals, everything's natural, and as a result it's very good if you're have allergic reactions to things. So why are you wearing the gloves? I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that after. <laughs> <laughs> once Shona stopped filming. <laughs> um, 
So, anyway, the, at the heart of that perfume is Egyptian jasmine. Now, this is the sort of extent of detail that goes into this. The, the Egyptian jasmine, it has to be plucked at dusk. There's a specific time of day you will collect that to get the very best out of it. Um, in fact, it is in history, and this is not hearsay, that Cleopatra, when she went to meet Antony, uh, the sails on the boat were covered in Egyptian jasmine, and it is said that as a result, that Antony was in love with Cleopatra before she had even put on land. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but did it work on the night? <laughs> did it work on the night? <laughs> there you go. He turned to drink then. Well, it is, it is said that uh, it was women who first introduced man to food. <laughs> but man turned to drink of his own accord. <laughs> anyway, um, at the heart of the perfume is a little known and rarely used ingredient called caro carundi, which is found in West Africa. I'm not absolutely sure, certain about my pronunciation there, but somebody that knows better can forgive me. Um, but it is a very powerful and, needless to say, expensive aphrodisiac. So, that is the X for the ladies. <laughs> X for men, which we shall move on to seamlessly and do the same thing. Um, <coughs> we close our eyes. Sorry? <laughs> no, I think we should, we should follow the instructions here and close your eyes so that you. you well, you the men get close their eyes. No, I, <laughs> I think everybody should. <laughs> I think everyone should. Right. The, X, <laughs> the X for men is based on the root of the iris flower, Oris. And it is a deep and earthy, it's a strong uh, scent. And this was used uh, in olden days, uh, even just after I was born. Uh, it was used on uh, sectors and in throne rooms and so on by royalty, as, as for male royalty, so that they had this presence about them when people went in. So here we go, here is your ex. <laughs> and uh, the eyes are closed, I, I see open eyes here folks, I see open eyes, they're closed over here. Oh, it's very different. Yeah. Oh, it's completely different, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the best auras comes from Flor Florence, and that's where this comes from. It's unusual to find this, this scent at the heart of a fragrance. And the other uh, interesting thing is the two perfumes, when they mix, actually create a third scent. And in the creation of the third scent, there you go, there's romance. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Valentine's Day, here we come. Hence the double bed through there. We do have trouble getting home. Sorry? And the chocolate cake and champagne. That's right, so we have all of the ingredients here. So. I'll just move around now, and if you'd like to. Uh, uh, we can hold out a hand. Oh, you have to take, take your glove off now. I want to know why. <laughs> well, keep it clean. It's, it's, <laughs> it's theatrical. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you trying something? You'll be popular on the train going yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, I have the ladies on the left on the distance. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you there? Yeah, you got 